Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU free carbon emissions allowances branded outdated Growing concerns over impact wind farms have on natural habitats Former EU Commissioner calls for a breakup of the Eurozone EU growth strategy is a big fat fail Plus, EU court decision heralds multi-country European music licences I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the European Commission is using an outdated list to grant free carbon emissions allowances to industries which say they face the risk of relocation abroad or carbon leakage due to the bloc's climate policies a new study says. Now history demonstrates that this has been the case. Look back at the story of Corvus Steel in the North East. Taken over by Tata Industries, its production capabilities shut down, then the EU carbon tax credits utilised to subsidise other businesses in the Eurozone, whilst its carbon producing activities got reinstated in India where the emissions regulations do not apply. Smart thinking, kleptocrats. Conservationists have raised concerns wind farms are rapidly shrinking the countryside after it emerged that the custodian of Scotland's natural environment has not published details of the extent of wildlands for four years. Now, the people that I speak to at our presentations and organised events appear very sceptical over the use of wind farms and turbines. The key problems being the size and cost of these projects. There seems to be a growing movement for more localised alternative power generation in and around the areas of small biomass, hydroelectric, wind and solar. I'm going to be debating this issue on The Unit Interactive, our live web-based Question Time style interview show on Friday the 10th of May at 10pm. If you would like to be involved, then join our community on Google+. The links are below. Former Dutch Internal Market Commissioner Fritz Balkersten has made stark announcement about the state of the Eurozone. Fritz said, The Netherlands has to exit the Euro as quickly as possible. The monetary union has totally failed. The Euro turned out to be a sleeping pill which made Europe doze off instead of thinking about our competitiveness. Let's stop with the Euro and instead strengthen the single market. We don't need the Euro for that. Now I recall I reported last week that the Euro had failed in my report The Euro is dead, long live the Euro. There are also many people that have highlighted the plight of the Euro in the EU Parliament, although it appears their words fall on deaf ears. The market confidence in the Euro has gone, investor confidence in the Euro is gone, and so has general depositor confidence. Destroyed by naive and foolish decision-making by EU technocrats as they attempt to saddle the people of Europe with what is essentially a debt incurred by the banks. The European Union's economic growth strategy has been a failure so far, and unless bold steps are taken, the economy will continue to stagnate, a study commissioned by EU finance ministers has said. <laughs> well, well, this report seems to fly in the face of EU ministers who have continuously talked up economic recovery and cited some direct success stories, namely Ireland. Don't get me started on that one. Suffice it to say that my prediction still holds that Ireland will be the next economy into the economic crucible, with a distinct chance of savers deposits being burned at the altar of bankster debt. Europe's Music Royalties Societies must now allow artists to sign up to a society of their choice and make multi-country licenses available to the likes of Amazon and Apple after a court backed an EU veto on national monopolies. Under the current system, each European country has its own collecting society, such as the highly controversial PRS in the United Kingdom. More interestingly, ruling by the General Court rejected, however, the European Commission's findings that the collecting societies had colluded illegally in violation of EU antitrust rules, saying regulators did not have adequate proof of wrongdoing. Today in our video library, firstly, a hat tip to Peter Simmons, who drew this to my attention via Twitter. 
For many people in Europe, it does not register with them that what is being formed is a single European superstate. It seems that this idea is too far removed and that they simply cannot accept that it has and is indeed happening. Now, we've reported many times on the formation and development of a unified European Defence Force, which is an amalgamation of Army, Navy and Air Force into one single defence contingent that acts on a global scale. In this short video, you will see for yourselves that the European Defence Force is in operation, fully branded with EU's logos and flying and operating under the European Union flag. This federal European project is so much further down the road to completion than you can imagine. And the questions I leave you with are, is this what you want? Is this what you voted for? I'm Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.